Women Achievers focuses on inspirational achievements of women in leadership positions. My name is Natasha Irobosao Sawaro, Honorable Member representing Ego Constituency in the Edo State House of Assembly. I'm 29 years old, my first time of election, and um, God be praised, I'm here today as the Deputy Majority Leader in the 8th Assembly at the Edo State House of Assembly. The youths have been relegated for a very long time. A few years ago, I was sitting with my godfather and um, he was someone who could impact on the society. May he so rest in peace. I asked him what he had in store for the youths of Edo State and he said the youths are very lazy. That gave me a little bit, a bit of spark to say I would stand up for the youth because I know they are not lazy. They haven't just been given the opportunity to be able to stand up right. And um, knowing that the way politics have been for the past couple of decades, it's been, it's been bad because we keep on recycling our ancestors. I think it's time that a fresh mind comes in and the youth stand up for themselves and that's why I'm here. So I'm a voice for all the women and the youths of the whole Edo state. Knowing that I am smarter than 90% of the men around me, they think I'm not because I'm a woman. So having to prove myself more than twice or three times upsets me because it's obvious I'm saying what's right. But the fact that they feel like a man should be this and a man should be that and a woman can be this makes them stress the matter and want to relegate me. But I'm not a child to be relegated. I wasn't brought up like that. As I look at myself more like a man in a female body. It's been, um, I mean, the struggle has been real, but we keep pushing. And um, like I said, the men always want to look down on you, but I don't let that bother me at all. I just, I just keep it moving. And then it gets to a point where they realize that I have a lot to bring to the table, then they will come to me. So I don't push for anything. I will be respected even if I'm a woman. You can't impose yourself on people. Um, leadership is about the people coming around you to literally lift you up and call you a leader. So I've had this conversation with a couple of leaders. Leaders. And I said, you're not supposed to force or impose things on the people. They should come to you and seek your advice or your opinion. They will call you leader. You don't force yourself to become a leader. I just become girl. <laughs> I mean, like, I... Uh, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a people person, you know, like it takes a very long time before you can upset me because even if you do something wrong to me, as long as I've put you in that space in my life that, oh, you are my person, I'll keep advising you, you know, like all my colleagues are my people. So being a leader here doesn't mean I'm just going to go and start screaming or telling them things or whatnot. I literally seek everybody's opinion before I speak. And I think that should be a style of a leader. You just don't come up because you've been given a position to say it must be so. 
I always seek everyone's opinion, be it my followers or my friends or my colleagues. And then when they speak, then I have, I now know what to do with the final say. Consistency. Consistency and, in fact, number one, prayer. I am a strong believer of God. A very, 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 very strong believer of God. All my life, all I've had to do was kneel down and say, Father, Lord in heaven, please. Follow it up with some fasting and I always get what I want. Being in politics now, at least, will have a very strong voice to speak for the women, which are women who have been relegated. A woman is a mother, a woman is a, a woman is a grandmom, a woman is a sister, a woman is everything. A woman gives birth to a man, a woman has a husband, a woman has a child. So most times, when you give a woman a job, she, she ends up being able to take care of everybody because by nature, she is the mother of all. She gives birth to the men. She marries the men. Edo State is one of the very few states that have been able to now start accommodating women without looking down on the gender. And that is because of our governor who God has used to make them realize that women and men, we all have equal rights. There's only one God. A man is not God. And God is in heaven. So what a man can do, a woman can do better. And I can do better. I will tell you that I have a very big struggle right now. I have a very big struggle balancing work and being with my son. Because I've always been a very clingy mother. So my son is very used to me. Apart from that, I'm not married. Men are really not my problem right now. I think I pick career first. But you see, my son, it just, it breaks my heart sometimes when he's like, Mommy, can we sleep now? Mommy, can you come now? But I really can't because I'm working, you know? I will wake up in the morning, we're supposed to have breakfast together as usual, but I'm not there. Sometimes I pick him up from school, but now I'm in Benin, I'm not there, you know? So, it, um, that has been my only struggle, because apart from that, I've always been a go-getter and a fighter, and this is not really a fight, so I'm coping well. Women should start loving themselves. There's a big problem in that area. Women don't love themselves. If we were united, we would do more. A woman should be able to speak for another woman. A woman should be happy when a woman is being elevated, not angry. That thing baffles me. It baffles me till date. I don't understand how that happens. Where you are not just happy for your own fellow woman. Meanwhile, the men are ganging up to kick you out. Keep going. Keep going. Um, be strong. These men would never let you see the light of day. Well, not all of them. Some of them. Especially the ones that are not enlightened. So keep pushing and keep pushing. Believe in yourself because yes, you can do it. Most of the time, we women were even more theoretical. We know what to do. So just sit down, bring out your drawing board, list out things that you want to achieve, and start getting to them one by the gradual process. But you will get there. Yeah, you will get there. The system is getting more encouraging. So 
before they want to shut it down on us again i need some strong bold and powerful women to come into politics let's change the narratives and better the country in general if this body is being elevated you would actually help a whole lot more women than we are right now uh, something that the government should look more into is something i personally will look more into to see how we can touch the life of other women around the country and definitely raise funds to help ourselves get better positions to come and do what we need to do to fix nigeria you know so by the grace of God, we will get there.